Hey guys, welcome to BTECT, it's Gina here and this is the ZTE Axon Mini. So this is just a very quick video on Force Touch because this is one of the only phones on the market right now which has Force Touch and it's actually the cheapest phone on the market with a Force Touch as well. The other ones being the iPhone 6S, the 6S Plus and the Huawei Mate S. So if you are interested in a Force Touch phone but don't want to spend too much money then I will talk you through how it works on the ZTE Axon Mini. So starting up from a lock screen you will see the first time pressure sensitive touch comes into play. Uh, if someone knows my password it's one, two, three, four, they won't be able to get into my phone because I have pressure sensitized the password. So actually it's a hard press one, light two, hard press three, light four. That's probably, to be honest, the most useful feature about Force Touch, the one that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis. Otherwise, Force Touch gives you things like shortcuts on apps, so you can write on your email, you can add an agenda to your calendar, you can add a collage or a slideshow, and you can, oh, gotta be careful there, you can start a stereo recording. So unfortunately, it doesn't work with third-party apps just yet. Say you hold down Facebook or hold down, where are we, hold down Instagram. It doesn't give you any options apart from managing whether they auto start or not. So that's a difference between the ZTE and say the iPhone because on the iPhone you get extra options when you hold down some apps, not all but some, you'd get to add a post or add a photo, stuff like that just from holding down the app icon. So hopefully, hopefully the Android apps do integrate and become utilized with Force Touch because otherwise it's not that useful I'd say um, because there aren't too many apps, it's just the apps which come with the phone and not apps that I use too regularly. But you can then go into them and you can say you want to add a date to your calendar, hold, hold it down and you can add a new event. So that's a nice shortcut. Same in the gallery, you can preview a photo, well, preview a photo just by holding it down. You can also play a video and then use the force touch to, oh, which way is it? Use the force touch to fast forward or try that again, fast forward or rewind. So that's pretty cool. I, I've got to say I would use that when I was viewing a video. And you can also customize how hard you want to press down on the phone. That's just under settings in pressure sensitivity, so if you want to make your force touch a really hard touch or just a light one, you can customize that. So, oh, one more thing, you can be in an app and you can hold down the top and it'll take you home and I just turned it off by mistake. But there you go, there you have it, a overview of ZTE's force touch and how it works with the phone. I hope you found this useful and let me know what you think of force touch because I don't really use it. I do use it for my password obviously but I don't actually use it on a day to day basis apart from that. So let me know what you do think of force touch whether you use it or not. Um, and click that thumbs up button if you did like this video and if you do like the, the look of the ZTE Axon Mini make sure you head over and check out that full review. Thanks for watching.